It says live, so it looks like we are live. I hope we are as I hit my knee on the desk. What a way to start the stream. Don't panic, everyone. You're here to see me with Lisa. She will be here in a minute. Uh, well, wow. Turn off the audio on your on your computer, John. Woo! If you can't tell, I'm in disarray. Uh, you're blind, <laughs> because I definitely am. How is everybody doing tonight? Uh, I see we've got, oh, let's see, let's start saying hi to everybody while we wait for Lisa. We got so much to talk about here tonight, folks. You can see things are different. The room is completely turned upside down. You got lights in the, in the pictures. It's a mess, but uh, that's not going to be for very long because we're rearranging everything and you will understand why in just a minute. So so far, Gary B has been in there for a while. Meat Man, that's pretty cute. Uh, Edgar Ebar, that's how I'm going to say it. Mr. B's Maple Street Aquatics, one fish, two fish, ROC with her tinfoil hat and her cold that she caught from the aquatic experience. Uh, as you can tell, I did not get the cold. Um, let's see, Aqua Balls, still love that name, one of my favorites on here. Uh, Mark Singleton, Michael Smith, Daryl Deemer, there's the guy, and I said his name right for the first time on this live stream. Dalton Young, I'm not going to read everybody's name, but we're going to read everybody that's in the chat right now. Uh, Maple Street Aquatics, I think I already said that, but I said it again. Ben Ochart, there he is. Charlie, Aquarium Hobbyist, and now everybody is saying hi, so this is going to get out of control. George Plu, CK's Fish Tanks. Swiski, there he is, Jimmy the man. Did you see his video today? I did, and it was good. Okay, I think I got everybody. E e -oy -boy -oy, I don't know how to say that one. Blimpus, one fish, there she is again. Shallow waters. All right, we got everybody. Hello to everyone. Um, I always hate when I turn on a live stream, and that's what I see them saying hello to everybody. No disrespect to any other streamers, but I always hate that, uh, and I just did it myself. And the reason why is because I have... I'm in complete disarray because I'm waiting for the woman. I don't listen to modern country music because I think it's garbage, but there is one guy that's still on the radio right now, Brad Paisley, that I'm a huge fan of, and that song, Waiting on a Woman, is so true. It's, it's so true. So, um, all right, listen. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. The problem is I wanted to wait on Lisa before I started talking on about this stuff. So I'm, I'm not really sure what to do. Should we just sit here and stare at each other for a little while until she gets down here? No. Okay, let's do this. Let's talk about Corey McElroy's giveaway. I just got an order today. I ordered some stuff from Aquarium Co-op, and it came in today, and that's good because I got a lot of work to do this weekend on that, which we're going to be talking about here in a second. Hey, that's kind of weird. You can see me like over and over and over and over again in there. That's pretty cool. Um, so... He's doing a giveaway on the website. If you don't know it already, aquariumcoop.com. It's at the top of the description down below. Go on there. Enter into the giveaway because why? They're giving away lights, whatever light you want. Um, if you're one of the winners, you get to pick it. And it's easy to enter because all you have to do is subscribe to YouTube channels, follow Aquarium Co-op and uh, social media. It's simple. I mean, you enter for free. You can enter a whole bunch of times. And you also support other YouTube channels, so you have to love that. And yes, one of them is mine, and that just is what it is. Most likely, anybody that's in here right now is already a subscriber to me, but that's okay. Go over there, subscribe to all the other channels, and then you get entered into the giveaway. Uh, so definitely do that, and also down below you see the Do Your Job t-shirts. i got to figure out a way to switch that with... Uh, Teespring because they're showing the front of the shirt and I want to show the back because the back has the big do your job logo on there and uh, the front has just the small logo so you know and I'm sitting here looking at my stream because it looks like it's jumpy I hope it's not I saw the cable guys outside today doing some work hopefully hopefully that doesn't get out of control so definitely check that out let's see let's see what people are saying and we will uh we will get to lisa here in a minute uh whew. okay new camera angle it's a new camera angle and it's uh, because we want to talk about this today this is going to be a big deal to talk about this today 
uh, even though we haven't done anything with it yet. It's just sitting there empty. But uh, we wanted to show that, so that's why I did the different camera angle. Plus, there's a couple of things over here that you can't see yet. We're going to show you in a minute. Uh, but not in a minute. But as we go on today, we're going to talk about what is right there. And uh, it's very exciting. So that's another reason why we did the angle the way we did. Um, I'm in the UK and it's 104 a.m. Good grief. Go to bed. What are you doing sitting here watching me in the middle of the night? Hey, John, glad we could meet this weekend. Brian's Fish Tanks. Yes, Brian, we, him and I had a couple of really nice conversations. It was a pleasure meeting you too, sir. Australia is in the house. I also hate when people say in the house. I'm sorry. I'm insulting everybody today, aren't I? <laughs> uh, anyway, why am I saying the things that I'm saying? Uh, oh, hey, my picture. I just saw it. Uh, yeah, your picture is right there, Jimmy. It's literally still in the package that I got it from you in. And it's just taped to the wall. See that right there? It was basically just to put something on the wall because originally this tank wasn't here for the stream and it was just going to be a white wall. And so I put your picture as well as Priscilla's picture up there. They're going to move though. They're still going to be there, but they're going to get framed and they're going to be in a better spot. Um, but they still will be both of those pictures in the backdrop of the videos. So yes. And folks, if you look real close, you see right there, you see the man's signature right there. And Corey's. Now, the reason why I did that, I'm not a big autograph guy, but the reason why I did that is I said, well, it's Jimmy's photograph of Corey's fish. There you go. That's perfect. So, okay. Uh, hello from Decatur, Georgia. Hello to you, Gapiro, Georgia Pyro. <laughs> really? Gapiro is what I said. Everyday Fish Keeper. Hello, everybody. Mike Howe. There's another guy that I met at the Aquatic Experience. It was very nice meeting you, my friend. I uh, probably spent more time with him than anybody else there. Um, one fish, two fish says, oh, she's just laughing at Jimmy. Uh, we're saying hello to everyone. I hear activity. She might be coming. Uh, don't let this distract you. Thumbs up. Well, it just did. I'm, that's all I'm doing right now until she gets in here. Then we're just going to talk. I don't have an outline today. I don't have anything put down as far as a, uh, a, a plan for today because I just want to have kind of a free-for-all talk about our weekend, because boy, was it a weekend. It was a monster of a weekend. So uh, we're definitely going to recap all of that for you. Um, let's see, everybody's saying it's lagging. Yeah, I'm sorry, folks. Hopefully you stick around, because uh, I guess they're working on the internet here, and uh, I, I don't know. I, I can't control that, unfortunately. Uh, I'll be in Bermuda November 10th. Would you like some underwater pics? Of course. Who would ever turn that back? Or turn that down, I mean. Uh, you're back with a question mark. Liquid nature. Yeah, I've been back for about a month or so. Uh, it just took you a while to find me. So hopefully it's not too laggy for everybody. Do you think Bryce Harper will get his $350 million contract? He is sealing John. I thought you liked a different team besides the Nationals. No, I like the Nationals, and that's it when it comes to baseball. Uh, I hate everybody else, all of them. If you're a fan of any other team but the Nationals, you're a bad person. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, I'm just a Nationals fan. I got enough stress in my life rooting for them. I don't need to watch any other teams. I literally only watch the Nationals. I don't care about any games that do not have the Nationals playing. Um, and then, of course, all the other teams, too. Do I think he'll get 350 mil? Yeah. Is he going to get it with the Nats? I don't know. I sure hope so, because he brings in a lot of money. Yeah, for the return, if Lisa, glad to see both of you back. Yeah, well, it's only one right now. Hopefully the other will be in here momentarily. Still undecided on what to put in my 15 gallon. Okay, I hear activity. If that's you, come on in here. What are you waiting for? Can you show the African cichlid tank so you can he see how they're doing? Um, you can see it. It's right there. Uh, there's only four fish in there now, and they're all doing great, actually. Uh, we've got algae in the tank. Yay! Um, so, yeah, the tank's coming along. You see I added a little piece of dragonstone in there. I'm going to be adding more. Uh, but I did that because I had to take it out of the 13-gallon that we have sitting right over here. And you'll understand why in just a little bit. So... Keep up the good work. Can't wait to see the new tank. Yeah, you're looking at it, Joshua. It's right there, but it ain't much to look at right now. So going to explain everything about that here in a bit. Um, hopefully, 
Hopefully she comes in here soon. There she is. Here she comes. I, do, I have not known what to say this whole time because <laughs> I've just been waiting for you. So here she is, ladies and gentlemen. The, uh, hey. the, the stream has been lagging a little bit. Um, the chat is over here. I will move it over there so you can see it better. Oh, thanks. So she's here. <laughs> she's here, folks. She's making an appearance on a video that's not a live stream at the Aquatic Experience. How cool is that? So I was just kind of updating them on, on what's going on here. And somebody asked if I would show the African cichlid tank a little clearer. And then you came in and sat right oh, in front of it. Yeah. But no, it's okay. That's where you have to sit. So just so you know, the camera's right here in case you want to look at the camera. Um, so, okay. Let's get into this. I have no plan whatsoever. Let me tell you something. If you if you stay looking at that, you're never going to go anywhere. It, it's it's going to be all a mess because you're going to be paying more attention to the chat than anything else. This is her first time on stream here, folks. <laughs> so I recognize people on here. Hi, Joe. Yep. Hi, Rob. You know, Swiski is, jo is Jimmy. And Jimmy, Mike Hell. my best friend. Yep. <laughs> so, okay, let's let, let's go right into the aquatic experience here, folks, uh, because that's why she's here. Th this is the thing. Before we talk about, let me move this. Hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. Move it a little closer to you. Can everybody hear Lisa okay? Uh, we'll say hi to everybody so that they can hear you. And Hi, everybody. Okay, that's what she does. She did that to me on the camera the other day. So in order to really get the full effect of what went down with the aquatic experience, uh, we have to talk about the drive up there before we do anything else. Because on the way up there, something was said that, uh, that, that blew my mind. And I, I, don't, I think she regretted saying it for a little bit. But we're on our way up there. And she says, you know, I could see myself getting a discus tank. Maybe get a discus tank with some little discus. You went like that. Yeah, little babies. And, of course, what did that do to me? I mean, anybody who is in this hobby that does not have a spouse or a significant other that is in the hobby with you, imagine how you would feel if that person decided to come into the hobby with you. Now, of course, she's been in the hobby with me for a long time, but she kind of stepped back from it a little bit, not... I'm not trying to be insulting here, but she stepped away like a lot of us do. And I've been fantasizing about her wanting to come back. And so out of nowhere on the way to the aquatic experience, she said she would be interested in maybe doing a small discus tank. So like a 55 gallon with about, I said seven, seven babies, like quarter size babies. That's it. Yep. So that's kind of what started the whole thing. It was almost like fate. I, I really do think that it was meant to be when she said she might be interested in a in a, in a discus tank. We're going to get to that later, but, I, but that had to be the first thing said because that was big. That was really big for me, and it changed the entire weekend for me because now knowing that she might actually get back into this hobby, it was, uh, it was an amazing thing. It changed everything. So... I've been talking this whole time. You haven't said hardly anything yet. Because every time I talk, you interrupt me. I know. I'm horrible. This is, me I mean, this is my stream. What do you want from me? <laughs> so why don't you start off with talking about how it was. We got there Friday and, and, and what did we find? I'll sit back and I'll let you talk. Oh my gosh. Now everyone's looking at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, it was not what I expected. We, we got there and um, we went in and we met people and John knew everybody. I really didn't know anybody but Corey and um, I mean of course people that have been there for a while back when I did videos like Joey and Rachel and you know there were a few people that I did recognize but um, I met new people and they were awesome. <laughs> so um, I was a little to myself on Friday. I wasn't quite as open. Um, I would say I got to know probably Corey and Jimmy a little bit more than anybody, wouldn't you think? We sat with them at Buffalo Wild Wings. and uh, You did. I sat on the other side, on the end, by myself. Oh, no. There <laughs> were people there. Daryl, 
he was there. I really like Daryl. He's a sweetie. Um, and then... Uh, she sat next to Corey at Buffalo Wild Wings, in case everybody's wondering. Yeah, yeah, I sat by Corey. He's, he's my new buddy, uh, him and Jimmy. So anyway, um, so I got to know them a little bit, and I, I was introduced to Rob, Rob and uh, Amanda, and they were really nice from Flip Aquatics. And again, these are some new people I didn't know. Um, I hadn't been in the loop for a while, so it was a little quiet. But I would say by Saturday, I opened up a lot and started talking to people more. And I got to know uh, Priscilla and uh, Susie Q and uh, Elizabeth. And uh, I mean, there's so many people. And, and Rob and Tracy, they were awesome. And mm -hmm. uh, We'll explain who those people are in a minute. Because you're, you're saying people's real names and, and some people might not know their real names. See, and I know them by so. their real names, not <laughs> their YouTube names. So I'm trying to, to get to know people by their YouTube names so I can look at your, your messages and say, hey, you know, because I don't recognize everybody. And um, also Joel. I can't forget Joel. He's awesome, too. Mm -hmm. So um, anyways, I... I, I got there a little late on Saturday. I didn't get there quite as early as John and everybody else. Uh, but no, you were sleeping, I wasn't, that's why. No, I wasn't sleeping. I still work, you know. I, I have to keep the business going so he can have fun. So anyways, I uh, hung out in the hotel room and then went over there. So I'm getting a little off track here. My story is going back and forth. But anyways, by the time I got there, got to know more people, hung out, I just really had had a great time getting to know everybody and walking around and just looking at tanks and taking pictures and uh oh there was a raffle was it a, a raffle another drawing there was one on saturday too you got the books yeah yeah i got the books i was so excited about winning those books they're like uh educational books for kids to learn how to take care of fish and stuff so i was excited about that and then what did we do we went out uh Saturday night was Buffalo Wild Wings. No, Friday. Fr that's what I meant. Friday was Buffalo Wild Wings. Saturday was Red Robin. Right, right. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we, we went out to ice cream both nights. Because mm -hmm. um, of Chris, <laughs> he, uh, he, he was pretty... He gave us a tour of uh, downtown Secaucus looking mm -hmm. for ice cream. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> uh, Chris, he's a great guy, too. I, I really, really like Chris. Great great guy um so uh I, I got a little bit more warmed up to the whole getting a fish tank and you know, thinking about getting a fish tank I wasn't a hundred percent sure but I was warming up to it so then Sunday I decided you know I'm gonna I'm gonna put in for this drawing because there's this tank it was tank six and it was amazing. It shaped like a like a cube, a giant cube. It, it was, was a 90, 90 cube. A 90 cube, yeah. And I was like, oh, this is the tank. This is the one I want to put uh, discus in. So I, I spent some money buying those raffle tickets. And uh, no, I... My money. What I did was I only asked him for 20. And it was actually on the live stream. I didn't know he was doing it at that time. And I was like, John, uh, give me some money. I want to get a raffle ticket. So anyways, after I did about $20 worth, I decided, well, I didn't get a bingo this week. So I'm going to go take some more money out, get a few more raffle tickets. And uh, I guess I got about $90 worth of raffle tickets. And I stuck... 80% of my tickets in the um, in the box for the tank six for the cube because I was determined I wanted that tank and I was like well just in case I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put like two tickets in this one and two tickets in that one and they were 75 gallon 90 gallon tanks I didn't want to go crazy and put in for 180 because what are we gonna do with that we don't need 180 gallon I don't want 180 gallon to take care of I wanted to start off small 55 that was my ideal tank except I really wanted that cube tank <laughs> and uh well they just you know they started they started uh calling out the numbers and stuff the tickets for for each tank and all the other um uh prizes and the one before tank six it was um 
for a 75 gallon. I, uh, I got it. I, my number came up one, two, three, zero. And I was like, Oh my God, <laughs> cause I'm going to win tank six too. So what am I going to do with two tanks? That's what I was thinking. That would have been a huge problem. And so I, I got, I got that tank. I was really excited about that, but I didn't win tank six. It was a little heartbreaking for a moment, but I did win my 75 gallon. I'm very happy with it, and I'm very grateful. I'm not, I'm not trying to sound like I'm, you know, not grateful for it. <laughs> I really like it. So, uh, anyways, I I got the tank. I was happy about it, and then I thought, don't, 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 don't go any farther no, than no, that. But I'm just saying. But don't, I, don't say what you did next. We have to lead into that. Because I have to talk about what was going on <laughs> while this all happened. Okay, so it's my turn now. Okay, okay, I'll read the comments. <laughs> so, so listen, folks. The weekend she summed it up very well. It was it was all about the people. The show itself, eh, I mean, it was all right as far as the vendors that were there, the booths that they had set up. It was okay. Uh, it was not as good as I thought it was going to be. If I'm being totally honest, there was a, there was a lot of boring booths. There was a couple of booths that just had a dude sitting at a desk bored. <laughs> uh, there were some standouts, of course, flip aquatics. Of course, I'm going to say that not just because he's a fellow YouTuber and because he was pretty much the organizer of the YouTube booth, but also because he was doing it right. I mean, he was there to sell product, to promote product, uh, and he sold a lot of it. In fact, there's quite a bit of stuff in this room right now that came from Rob. So uh, he was doing it right, and, and his his booth was uh, outstanding. I, and I promise I'm not saying that just because I know the guy. Uh, Dennerlay had a nice booth. I mean, the, the way theirs was set up. It was very nice. Um, there was a lot, of, a lot of vendors that had booths that were like they take them from from show to show to show. And it's the same thing every single time, Fluval being one of them. I love Fluval, don't misunderstand me. Um, Hikari. The problem with those booths, like Hikari, Cobalt, Fluval, um, the big, big brands, Aquion, they weren't selling anything. They just had their stuff there for you to see it. And that was, that was fine, but you know, there was people like me that had money in our pocket. We wanted to buy stuff. And uh, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff to buy, except for shrimp and, and guppies and stuff like that, which was awesome. Uh, another thing that has to be said about Rob's booth that, that he needs to be commended on, Rob is all about helping other people. I mean, obviously, uh, he helped with the YouTube booth, and he's just a great guy all around. But he also shared his booth with three other people to allow them to sell their products there. Kang Lee with, was one of them, the Twin City guppies. Uh, the guy, what was the dude's name? Aaron? I, I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. The guy that made the wooden signs. If I'm getting your name wrong, I'm sorry. I'm a jerk. Uh, and Priscilla w with her artwork that she was selling there. So they all shared one booth. And so that was, it was my favorite booth and it, it wouldn't oh, have mattered if I yeah, didn't by far it know was. Rob or anybody. But, um, but for me, I mean, I, I swear to you, this is the God's honest truth. If there were no vendors there, if it was just like banners hanging on the wall and this was in a, a like meeting hall at a hotel, I would have been just as fine with that. Just because it was the people, it was the other YouTubers, yes, but it was also the people coming up to us, coming up to you. Not me so much. They were to you. <laughs> but coming up to us and, and wanting to meet us and get to know us and all of that. I say us because there was a whole lot of us there. Um, it was a lot of fun. I mean, that was the best <laughs> part of it. Uh, for sure. And it was something that I will never forget. Uh, I'm not going to go through a list of who my favorites were because that would be mean. Um, but we got to know everybody. I mean, there was nobody that that we didn't get to spend time with. Uh, there was a couple that we didn't spend as much time with as, as I would have liked. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. We got to talk to everybody. The, the biggest thing for me was being able to meet and spend time with people that I had never met before. And that was awesome. Um, and probably the, the one, that, the icing on the cake for me was Chris. Chris Lukop, to me, was, I, I'm not saying he was the best in the whole show. That, that's crazy. But I had probably more fun because of that man 
than anybody else there. No offense to anybody. I think they would all say the exact same thing. Um, that guy is just an amazing human being. He's fun to just sit there and listen to. I mean, just think about it. He's the shrimp king and a rock star. <laughs> I mean, you can't really go wrong there. I mean, so. And he can tell some really good stories. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, he had Dave Mustaine stories. He had all kinds of stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, that was very, very cool. But also sitting down talking with, with Corey and with Jimmy and Joel. Joel and I spent a ton of time together there. And it makes me sad that he didn't say that in his stream. Uh, Joel and I spent a lot of time together because of, of these kind of things, standing outside, ooh, you know. So there was a lot of that. But, uh, but it, was, it was the people. That was the main thing that, that was the, the best part of the whole thing. Um, I understand she heard it too. Uh, I understand there was some some fish drama that had happened uh, at the end of the show with betas. I, I can't convince my brain to say beta. I, I just have to say beta. Um, Bob talked about it, and I think Joel might have talked about it in his stream too. Um, and there's probably people expecting to hear my take on that drama, uh, the abuse that was happening with these betas. The problem is I didn't see it. I mean, it's not that it didn't happen for me. I just, I didn't see it with my eyes because I was going so crazy running around at the end of the show that I didn't see the things that were making all of these other people mad. If I had seen it, I would have been mad too. I'm mad now, even, how, even though I didn't see it, but if I'd seen it, that would have taken it to a whole nother level. So I don't really have any comment on that. Um, with, with everything that everybody's saying, I just hope that the WPA gets their act together for next year uh, and doesn't allow that kind of thing to happen. That's really the only comment that I have for it. Um, other than that, I saw a couple of people commenting. Um, somebody asked why Joey wasn't on the list. Joey didn't tell anybody he was going to be there. Uh, and he didn't. He spent exactly zero time at the YouTube booth. So it was kind of one of those things, if you were going to go there and see him, you were going to wander around and find him because he was all over the place. So he wasn't omitted from the list or anything like that. He just, he didn't tell anybody he was going. He just showed up. So um, maybe he just wanted to keep it suspenseful like that. Um, let's see. John is online. How cool is that? I'm, st I'm starting to commandeer this thing and not letting you talk anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. We're going to get to your thing. So, okay, listen. So we got to get to the end of the show. Okay. Uh, a little, well, Saturday, the first thing that happened I get in there Saturday morning. She was still sleeping. I was not sleeping. And uh, I went in and Chris Lukop grabbed me and he said, you come back here with me. And that was a terrible German accent. I'm sorry. He says, you come back here with me. And he takes me to the back of the, of the event and he shows me this row of nanotanks, small three-gallon nanotanks that he had scaped. And he said... I want you to pick one of those and I'm going to send it home with you. I want to, I want you to go home with one of these tanks, which of course blew my mind. The tank is actually sitting right there. You can't see it. And guess what? You're not going to see it because I'm going to do a video all about it. But uh, at the end of the event, something happened with that tank. That's all I'm going to say. Stay tuned for the video to see what it was that happened to it. Uh, it actually turned out to be a better thing. Uh, than what it was originally going to be. So yes, it's, it was like presented as a catastrophic thing, but it turned out to be a really good thing. Be watching for the video on that. So while all that is happening, she's waiting to get her tank. We were actually standing at the front of the event in front of this tank, waiting for the people to help us take it out. And JH Aquatics runs up, Joseph Harden, he runs up and he says, John, there's been a, there's been a horrible thing that's happened. <laughs> And, uh, and he tells me what happened, which I'm not going to tell you um, because it's something special for the video. But so I go off to take care of that, leaving her behind, waiting with the tank. And then Chris and I got involved in a project. And while we were working on that, what did you do? I lost my mind for a minute. <laughs> I uh, I went to the Discus RS, I believe that was the uh, booth. They had a booth with three three big like buckets of uh, discus, different sizes. 
And I'd been eyeing these discus the whole time, and uh, I went to the one with the babies in it, and uh, they were like 10, what did he say? They were like originally $35 a piece, but they were marked down to $10 a piece. And I was thinking, well, I guess I could get those seven now instead of coming, you know, going home and then going to get them and, you know, whatever. These little discus needed a home now. So I was like, um, I think I'll take seven of those discus. And the whole time I'm looking back, I'm like, I hope John doesn't see me doing this right now. And uh, anyways, the guy talked me into just taking all of them. I uh, thought it was 19, but it came out to be 16 discus. So I got all 16 baby discus for $100. And, you know, it did take me a moment to go ahead and agree to him. I was like, I don't know if I can do that. You know, I just wanted seven. And, but 16 baby discus, or at the time I thought 19 baby discus for $100, you can't pass that up. So I went ahead and I said, here's my card. And I paid for them and they bagged them up. And I went walking through with them and... John, he my looked, face was like this. <laughs> I had a bag in each hand, and he he looked at me, and I was like, "I did a thing, I did a thing." <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I I came home with all of them. They're doing good. I've been water changing them twice a day, feeding them breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'm gonna get them nice and fat. And uh, they're gonna go into 75 gallon for a little while. Um, I already have plans. I'm going to be rehoming half of them in about three months. Um, I have, yeah, I am. I've already talked to somebody, a really <laughs> good kid that uh, helped me out a lot in the fish store, and I taught him everything he knows about discus and fish keeping, and uh, we discussed it. He's been wanting more discus, and I told him in about three months when I'm ready, uh, we'll get his tank, his other tank together and and go ahead and take some of them. You know, I, I just don't want to do them an injustice and have all these discus in a 75 gallon tank. And just put them in a bigger tank. I don't want to set up the 240. You got two 125s. I don't want to set up a bigger <laughs> tank. I only want a 75 gallon. I'd rather go ahead and share, share the hobby with somebody and I especially like it when when kids and teenagers like to get started in the hobby, they're the next generation. They're the ones that will be taking this over one day. So if I can't get my own kids to do it, I'd rather be, you know, supportive of somebody else's kid doing it. And that is really cool. And we're going to talk about a kid here in a minute because I'm going to show you all a slideshow in a minute of some of the pictures that we took from the event. Um, but these discus, the, the camera is not the best here, folks, but... In case you're wondering, they are, there's 16 small golden discus in a 13 gallon tank. I know, but you have to understand this tank was, we had to transport it back from New Jersey. We didn't get out of there till like 7.30 and we're five and a half hours away. So we didn't get back till like one o'clock in the morning. Her son got up out of the bed, helped me put this in the garage. I had to take the rental truck back. Thank God we got the truck instead of the Jeep compass that the guy was going to give us. Otherwise, this would have never been able to happen. But we also, we came home with so much loot. And folks, I don't want to make it sound like I'm complaining, but good Lord, did we come home with a lot of stuff. Because basically what happened was, Chris and I are working on that project, that super secret project, which I will share with you in another video. She walks up with these two bags of discus. We go over, I have my tank that Chris gave me. We put it in this spot in the YouTube booth and then the discus go in there. And then Luke starts walking up with just handfuls of stuff, throwing them at us and throwing them at a lot of people, not just me. And all of a sudden there's this giant box and I mean giant box over near the Dennerlay booth because they're tearing that down full of driftwood and uh and and dragonstone and all of this other stuff so we were grabbing that everybody was grabbing that we ended up with so much stuff and we had to get all that in the house I'm going to show you some of that I took some pictures of it which I'll share with you in a minute um everything's in a minute I keep saying in a minute 
But there was so much stuff to bring in, and we're, there was no way we were going to set this tank up and have it ready for them right then and there. So we stuck them in the 13-gallon. We're going to get this tank up and running uh, Saturday. We're going to escape it. I'm going to do a video on that. I have a, a plan for that video. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull but it I off. I thought it was my video. It will be your video, but I'm going to be in it too for that. You Anyway, so we got a plan for that. She might not let me do it. If she lets me do it, it's going to be a lot of fun. But anyway, be looking for that on Saturday. Also be looking for a video from her uh, for somebody that she ran into at the Aquatic Experience that she just wanted desperately to get on a video because he had a really good story. That video will be coming out too. And then uh, the video of my special project with Chris Lukop. Actually, the Chris Lukop's project that I stood and watched is more like it. It was not a project between the two of us. So, um, but anyway, that's why they're in the small tank that they're in because we don't have any other ones set up for them. So, and they are very small. I mean, the biggest one is maybe the size of a 50 cent piece. So they're very small. They're, they're fine in there. I mean, I've she's, been water changing twice a day. So. Yeah. She's doing all kinds of water changes in there. So, um, all right, let's do a quick scan through here again, and then we'll get to that slideshow, which was a lot of fun. Cause I saw, I thought I saw a chat or a message about somebody fighting. Was there a fight? I don't know. Anyway, somebody said something about a YouTuber wanting to fight them. I don't know anything about that. I mean, I know there was some drama there, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Who cares? It didn't have anything to do with me. I wasn't fighting nobody, and nobody was fighting with me. So uh, I kind of regret leaving early. I had too far to drive. Yeah, Mike, you missed out, my friend, because good Lord, there was some stuff. I mean, Dennerlay was just giving away all kinds of stuff, um, and they were a sponsor of the YouTube booth. So, you know, they naturally went to us first. Um, I guess they're also the source for a lot of the drama. Uh, with the betas but anyway I did get a beta she did get a beta um, and yes that is from the tank from Chris so yep be looking for that too uh, and somebody just put up there John did you keep the beta yeah so if you watched my live stream on Sunday you saw I went in I showed the tank that Chris gave me uh, but I'm not showing it to you now I wonder why that is um, the beta that was in there yes I brought that fish home with me and uh and there, and there it is. So there was a comment about that think referred to Joey. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, so let's get to the si slideshow because I spent about two hours getting this slideshow put together last night. So uh, we, will, we will talk about these pictures individually. The ones that you're in, you can talk about. And the ones that I'm in, I'll talk about. What do you want me to talk about? It's a picture. But who's in the picture with you? It's Jimmy and Corey photobombed us. That is the best. <laughs> that is the best photograph of Corey I have ever seen in my <laughs> life. So there he is, the man. Chris. <laughs> I did not get a posed picture with Chris, uh, which I regret. I mean, somebody might have one uh, of me, but uh, I didn't get one there. So, and we can see a bunch of YouTubers in the background. We see uh, the. Isn't his name Raging Reefer? I'm sorry if, I get, if I'm getting your name wrong, dude, but he's the one I kept calling the security guard for the YouTube booth because he was wearing those glasses and he just kind of stood there, like stood tall, like he was protecting everybody. So that was awesome. Uh, and then we have Mike the from Aquapro Simply Betas there. Uh, Jason from uh, Primetime Aquatics is there. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to talk about every single person in every single picture. So here he is. Aww. This is what we were talking about. He lives right up the street from us, too. Cole Philpot. There he is. Yep, he yeah. lives up in D.C. His parents brought him up there uh, for the event, which, or, or was it his dad? I don't just, know. Just for Saturday. So, I mean, that is awesome that a parent would drive all the way to New Jersey for his kid uh, to go to a show. And uh, I think there's a picture of me with him coming up here soon. But And these, he's the only one uh, that Bob said he saw wearing the radical reefs there you go sorry is that isn't that what i said what did i say i don't remember what did i say I, raging reefs or something i don't know what i yeah. said but yeah radical bad. reefs sorry about that that was a cool dude uh and he was uh he was our security guard but that's the the only person that bob said he saw wearing his shirt so the, speaking of bob there he is everybody wondering how tall bob is i'm six seven 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm six feet tall, and he is the taller. Hat. The, the hat, hat makes him taller. The hat definitely makes him look taller, and <laughs> nobody knows what's underneath that hat. I know it's a huge mystery. I think he probably has a huge cone head, and so he probably is like six five with the cone head. But, uh, but yeah, that's uh, there's Bob, and there's a better picture of me and Bob here coming up soon. And there we go. The only picture of me with Chris. I'm pretty sure this is when uh, Chris was explaining to me the whole concept of CO2 in a planted tank. Uh, and you can see I'm very intimidated by what he's talking about there. Uh, I could tell you a story about a CO2. Yeah, well, long. I hooked it up backwards and it popped. I mean, what do you want from me? I'm I not a planted my, guy. I thought my eardrums busted. It scared me. It sounded like a gunshot. I jumped, almost peed myself and... He's like, oh, it must be backwards. Yeah, it was not funny. So we won't talk about that anymore. Let's move on. So <laughs> this is me and some girl uh, with JH Aquatics. That's a cool dude right there. He's we, a really nice guy. We got to hang out with him quite a bit. Uh, and he's the one that broke the terrible news there at the end of what happened. Is this? Yeah, yeah it looks like they're tearing everything down there. Uh, that's And that's definitely Sunday because I'm wearing the flip shirt. So, yep. Uh that's that. Then we got me, and here's some more of the discus. Uh, those were his discus, not my discus. Yeah, Lucas picked up two of them, and those are a lot bigger than the ones we got. They came from, like, yeah. the big bucket. Oh, yeah. Um, and it, he actually got those on Saturday, and I was like, dude, you're not leaving till Monday. You're gonna. He's like, oh, they'll be okay. Don't worry about it. So he's the most laid-back, coolest guy I've ever met. Uh, didn't get to spend a lot of time with him at the show, but I spent quite a bit of time talking with him at, uh, at Red Robin. And... Oh, yeah. One of the first things I said to him was, your son is a superstar and he's adorable. I don't think you've seen him yet, but he is. Uh, his son is awesome. So, I don't think I did see him. Yeah. Well, he wasn't there at the show, but he's in his videos a lot. Oh, oh okay. So cool hanging out with Lucas. Uh, and then there's the one with me and Cole, you said Cole. his name was? Cole. Fett. Shame on me for not knowing his name. Such a cool kid. And let's see Bill Gates in the background there uh, to the right. That looks just like Bill Gates, doesn't it? <laughs> but that's not Bill Gates. There's you, Jay. You can see Jay in the background, though, and uh, JH Aquatics. Jay Wilson is another one we haven't brought up. Got to, got to spend a lot of time with him. I don't think we got a picture with him, but uh, we got to spend quite a bit of time. Priscilla. Priscilla is the lady. She's a sweetie pie. Responsible for... Uh, hold on. Where is it? For that picture Dude. of the arowana, oh, yeah. so definitely appreciative of that. So she is extremely talented and just a wonderful, wonderful person. And there's the picture. That's the one that everybody's been waiting on. <laughs> the, it was the running joke. You don't even know anything about it. Uh, somebody's either said something to me about jumping into Bob's arms or some, somebody said something to Bob about jumping into my arms. I don't know what it was. So, uh, yeah, we had to do that. And he's really light. I held him up there. No problem at all. It was no big deal. Uh, Famous Jones. Yes, my friend. It was very nice meeting with you, too. And this this is a cool deal right oh, here. Yeah. This shows you the guy that Corey is. Uh, not, I mean, I'm not trying to be weird here, but... This was at Buffalo Wild Wings. All of the YouTubers were congregated around one super long table. And Corey, of course, when you're around a, a long table of YouTubers that are fish YouTubers, Corey is, of course, a superstar. He left the table to go and sit with this family that were just fans. They were YouTube fans. They were fans of his. And he sat almost the entire night there Yeah. Uh, with the, the father and the little boy who... You, you might not be able to tell. He's in a wheelchair there, and he is fast on that yeah. wheelchair. He was all over the place was a great kid. on Sunday the next day. Uh, so that was really cool that, that Corey did that. It just shows the guy he is. Here's some of the, the – these were the troublemakers of the whole mm -hmm. place. Uh, Susie Q, there's Joel in the background, and, uh, and Zenzo. Got a picture of Zenzo uh, coming up with me sucking in my gut. And then uh, one fish, two fish there. She doesn't have her tinfoil hat on, but uh, – she was wearing it almost the entire weekend, and that was a lot of fun. And, of course, you know J.H. and Corey. I'm doing all the talking here. Why am I doing this? I don't know. You, you don't even know their names, so go ahead. Daryl. Daryl and? I'm sorry. I can't remember. It's Dan, and I have not seen Dan, him. that's right. Yes, I do remember now. Dan, but Daryl, he, I talked to him a little bit more. He's a sweetie. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if he's in here with us. Dan C. He said is his name. Hmm. Um, he did. So okay. Love John's in love. What? Lucas is the man. Terrible news. What terrible? I don't know. I don't know what people are saying. This is why you don't look at the chat. So there's a picture of two good looking guys. Actually, one very below average looking guy and a super good looking guy there. Uh, the one with the hat on. I forgot his name. What's his name again? Uh, Rob. Oh, Rob. Yeah, that's right. Now, of course, everybody knows Rob. And that we're in the same shirt here today. And, and we met his wife, Amanda, and she's a very sweet lady. I like her a lot, too. She's awesome. I like all the women. What can I say? They're, they were just <laughs> awesome. So we got a bunch of superstars here, except for the guy in the middle, but a bunch of superstars of YouTube. You got Corey, of course, that weird bald guy in the middle. Uh, you got Jimmy. You've got pre creative pet keeping. Kang Lee is kind of lurking and looks a little bit strange, but he's there. <laughs> And then, of course, we have Zenzo Tazawa's butt, uh, which everybody enjoys looking at. So there you go. Uh, that got weird real quick. And then you have Mike Howe in the background dancing some type of, uh, I don't know what kind of dance he's doing there, but <laughs> he's probably going to be embarrassed when he sees that. This one, I'm not sure. I think it snuck into the slideshow, and I didn't mean to put it in there. But uh, this is, <laughs> she took this walking we were walking to the event on friday we hadn't even gone in yet and i was walking way ahead of her because i wanted to get in there quick and she took a picture of me because i was there. in like these boot heels and he didn't tell me we had to walk to this place and i uh oh he didn't know where we were going either so i'm walking in these like boot type heels and uh something that should have taken like a walk that should have taken five minutes took about 20 uh, my Fitbit went off because we did so many steps if you can imagine folks I, I was a stupid stupid person on he the really, day of the was. on Friday we walked there from the hotel our hotel was like two blocks away if you imagine the the convention center being a square the doors on one end let's 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 get this so the square, the door's on this end. When we walked up to the building, we walked right up to the door, but didn't know that was it, and walked all the way around because we didn't know that's where the door was. We ended up walking all the way around, trying to go in the back door, and everybody was like and stopping us. I wasn't us and... trying to do any of that. He just said, follow me. I know where I'm going, so. I didn't know where I was going. He didn't. I had no clue where I was going. So yeah, anyway, that was the very beginning of that walk to the event. So there it is there. Uh, I had to suck in my gut because there was no way I was going to be, you know, standing there with a big beer gut hanging out. I don't drink beer. Why did I even say that? Big Coca-Cola gut with next to that fine gentleman there. Uh, but yeah, the, we got to spend quite a bit of time with him too. And that's a good dude right there. And, um, and see, there's our security guard back there uh, <laughs> with his glasses on, standing there guarding the booth, wanting to make sure no bad guys get in there and, uh, and, and, and mess with the talent, see? And I think that might be the only picture of Joel that we got is <laughs> him in the background. So there we go. Uh, me with Jason from Primetime Aquatics, another good dude. And we almost look like brothers in there. Uh -huh. Is that a beautiful beard or what? It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous beard. I don't. I hope I could get mine to look like that. So, all right. So here we go. Let's go through these real quick. So this is the start of some of the loot that we brought home. Now, if you've followed this channel for any length of time, you know I know nothing about plants except how to kill them. And I told Sha uh, Chris that, and he just still kept throwing more plants at me. So this is a bunch of uh, uh, plants that are already mounted on rocks uh, that we put in a tote because they were going to dry out otherwise. And yeah, there's probably 30 pieces in there in that one tote. Um, then the, comes the driftwood. This is out in my garage. I laid it out on the table. Folks, I'm not trying to brag here. I'm just showing you what we brought home with us. It's absolutely crazy. All this driftwood and all this dragonstone. And these are some pretty good sized pieces that I'm thinking I will end up putting in the African cichlid tank. Um, and then the, long, the driftwood is going to go in the tank that you see right there, uh, which you also see behind us. That is uh, the 75 that we brought home from the contest. So I'm sure a lot of the driftwood is going to go in there. So more of the driftwood. And then we're back to the pictures. Now, I did have one more that I, there it is. I guess I skipped past it. That is the uh, three it's trays. My refrigerator. 
Yeah, that's the inside of our garage refrigerator uh, that has the uh, all of the tissue culture plants that were thrown at us by Chris Lukop at the end of the show. And uh, I don't know what any of it is. I'm going to probably be driving Joel and Corey crazy, wanting to know what to do with these things. But uh, but yeah, that's that's a lot of money right there that was uh, that was just handed to us. So maybe we'll give some of it away too. I don't know. But that's that's how lucky we are. Those are four deep, or and three wide. So there's like twelve cups in each uh, tray, and there's three trays. So good lord. So yep, that's that. And then we get back to the picture with Joey. So or Joey, that's not Joey. That, that yeah, is not Joey. <laughs> okay, so. Let's go through here real quick. And then, uh, oh, Mike Howe did see it. He said, super weird pick of me. Yeah, what dance were you doing there, Mike? That was uh, that was interesting. Flynn's Fish Forum is in the house. And I said it again. I already said I hate when people say that. But I said it. And I'm just a horrible person. Uh, how is the cold? Yeah, I heard a lot of people got sick. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, Joseph got sick. One fish got sick. Mm-hmm. Uh, a bunch of people got sick. I didn't. Um you didn't get sick, and neither one of us did. So uh, Ray got sick, I think. She, did she? She couldn't talk. Oh, uh, that's because she wore her, she wore her voice out. Uh, that's not necessarily that she got sick, but maybe she did get sick. I don't know. Um, need some driftwood soon. Yeah, I got plenty of it here. I don't think we're gonna use it all. Uh, I saw a video where there were two young ladies that came home with a lot of driftwood. Also, a uh, good. I mean, I know simply beta and uh, creative pet keeping. I know. I know Taylor grabbed a bunch, but she did because we went over there together actually. And Chris was funny because he said, "Come here, come here," you know, in his German voice. I don't know how to repeat it, but he said, "Come here, come here, um, come get some uh, stones." That's what he said. So we get over there, and uh, I grab a few pieces of driftwood, and he's like, "No, no, 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 no! You can carry more." And he starts <laughs> piling them up on top of my. My already large pile of driftwood. <laughs> yeah, she it got was, quite a few pieces, or I think she got driftwood as well. So it was an amazing, amazing haul of loot, and uh, I don't know what we're gonna do with it all. Oh yeah, forgot to mention that little guy right there, uh, which the light. I think the bulb in it is bad, um, but that's another tank that Chris threw at her. It's a bow front. I forget the brand, but it's a, a small three-gallon bow front, and it's adorable. We got a piece of spiderwood, I guess that is, from Rob that we have in there. Uh, we paid for, <laughs> and then we bought a lot of stuff. Um, but then we were also uh, we were also given a lot of stuff. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it was a good weekend to be a YouTuber. Yeah, <laughs> even if we didn't get the tank, it was still a really good weekend mm-hmm. because we got so much stuff. If we weren't getting that. When Chris brought all of those plants, I would have said no. Give those to, to Joel. Give them to Bob, who wasn't even there anymore. Uh, give them to those other guys, because I don't have anything to do with them. But since we were getting that, I was like, okay, well, I'll play around with them, and that'll be fun. So, uh, you know, but I don't know if we're going to use them all. And I know that these tissue culture plants will last for a long time, so maybe we'll do a giveaway of them. And I think we're also going to end up doing some giveaways from that, because this came with a heater, which we will use. Uh, 300 watt heater, uh, the tank, the lids, the light, the stand, and an Emperor 400 filter. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to give the Emperor away on here. Okay. We don't have any use for it. I'm going to put <laughs> I'm going to put the FX4 on there, and uh, so we're not going to have any use for it. So I think I'm going to do a giveaway of the light and the Emperor uh, on this live stream sometime. I don't know. Because uh, we're not going to use them. I've got the um, Coral Life lights that I'll use on there. And then uh, we've got the FX4. So I'm not going to need those. And I'm, I'm not going to have them sitting around here doing nothing. And even when we do set up the other tanks that we have, an Emperor is not going to do much for those tanks. Mm-hmm. So um, I think I'll give those away. They're, they were used for one weekend at a fish show. So it's not like they're uh, old, used, scummy, nasty stuff. They're brand new. So... We'll, we'll end up doing that. We'll give those away. Who was your favorite YouTuber there? Me. Duh. <laughs> no. I, I can't pick one. I mean, I had so much fun with all of them. I mean, I really did. And I'm not being politically correct when I say that. 
Uh, I think I spent more time with Joel than anybody else, but that was just the the, uh, the vices that we have. Um, it doesn't even have to be a YouTuber. There were just there was just a lot of people there that were so nice. That were I don't know people that I would call friends now. And yep. And not everybody was a YouTuber. I mean, maybe they were. I just don't know. But I really enjoyed everybody. It was it was a lot of fun. Um, it was fun. See, there's guy a guy right there, Racing's Natural Aquarium, Rob, and his wonderful wife, Tracy. We spent a lot of time with them, again, because of our vices. Uh, I probably spent more time with them than you did. Uh, that was a great dude to hang out with. Um, he talked a lot of stuff all weekend about what was going to happen in the Dallas Cowboy-Washington Redskins game on Sunday. And... Unfortunately for him, it didn't work out the way he expected it to. But uh, he did, for no reason, he gave us a gift. Oh, I got one too, but I'm not going to share it today. It was the coolest <laughs> thing ever. And the, the reason why this happened, he came in and he gave Jimmy a gift. And Jimmy was sitting right next to us. And I saw it and I said, wow, that is so cool. That's so cool that you gave him a gift. And that's so cool what the gift is. It's gorgeous. And uh, the next day, he brought me one. And I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, or if at all, but it is the New York skyline. Well, not the whole skyline, but Statue of Liberty's in there, the Empire State Building's in there, and you can't see any of it. But it's very, very cool. And he, they went over to the city and got that. I guess they went to the city. I don't know. And brought that back and gave it to us. So how cool is that? Oh, so, oh wait, wait. One fish, two fish says, Lisa, you were wonderful. I so enjoyed every minute getting to know you. And I enjoyed every minute getting to know you too, Elizabeth. And was, Susie. I didn't even I didn't even know her name was Elizabeth, so you just taught me something there. No disrespect. Yeah, I yeah. just know you as She's one fish, awesome two fish. She's an awesome person. So yeah, she was a lot of fun with the with the tinfoil hat thing. I just I couldn't get enough of that. So uh, yeah. Rob uh, Racing's Natural Aquarium was making all kinds of bets. He was like if the Redskins lose, you have to do oh, this and have yeah. to do that. Uh -huh. And, you know, I didn't have to worry about it. I, I listened to it on the way home and I heard every, well, I heard the second half on the radio on the way home from uh, Jersey. So, yeah. I thought of them too. I was like, oh, I think Tracy and Robert are, uh, are Cowboys fans. <laughs> yeah, they definitely are. Huh. Uh, so James Moore says, I'm planning to go to the Aquatic Experience next year, but I'll only be able to be only be able to spend one day which day would you recommend going or does it matter thanks Saturday. well hmm it depends on what you're going for if you're going to see the vendors and all of the stuff that's there i would go on either friday or sunday because those are the two slow days friday was like a ghost town we got in there and it was like did the show even start we got there at like three o'clock um so if you're going there for that then uh, I would say go either one of those days. If you're going there to meet up with YouTubers, I think my response would be the same thing. Because if you want to go there and see YouTubers, I'm sure there's going to be a lot that are going to be there. We'll be there. Um, I know Bob said he's not going to go, but he'll go because I'll just make him go. And uh, so there, most of the YouTubers that are going to be there will be there all three days, I'm sure. So you would probably want to go either Friday or Sunday because it'd be slower and you'd be able to spend time going from YouTuber to YouTuber and we could all get to know you. Uh, if you go there Saturday, it was a madhouse on Saturday. It was crazy. Uh, still not as crazy as Sunday or Saturday at Chicago, uh, but it was, it was crazy busy on Saturday. So where is the... AE next year, it's at the same place, at the uh, Meadowlands Expo Center in uh, Secaucus. Uh, Daryl Deemer, tinfoil hats will be next thing. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be big next year. We're all going to be wearing them next year. That's that's for sure. Congratulations on winning the tank. Thank you. Uh, he says, <laughs> yeah. She won it, not me. And it's funny. I got to tell that part of the story. She doesn't even know this. It's not a big deal, but it was funny. I was coming back from the... Where was I? I don't know where I was. I was mm -hmm. somewhere in the back. And I came up to see if she had won. And Susie Q and One Fish, Two Fish walked by and they were like, hey, congratulations. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? And I thought she won the 90 gallon cube. And so I was like, what? Six. And then she said, no, I got the 75. And I'm like, well, that's just as cool. You know, how cool is that? So that was awesome. But somebody did win two tanks. Um, I think 
a 180 and uh, I can't remember the other one, but I, I just remember thinking, hmm, people are gonna hate me if they see me win two tanks. But I didn't care, I just wanted, I just wanted tank six and I was gonna give away the other one if I want to. But I didn't, and that's okay, because I, I really do love my 75 gallon. I heard, now I heard this just from somebody else that was there. As a matter of fact, way after the show was over, everybody was taking all their stuff out. I was standing there waiting with that tank with a guy who also won a tank right next to ours. And he told me that the 90 gallon cube fell and shattered on the way out. I don't know if that's true or not. That The only person I heard that from was that dude. I don't know if that actually happened, but oh, uh, well, I feel bad if it did because I know I would have been brokenhearted for her uh, and me because it was a really cool tank. We wouldn't have been able to put that tank in here though. I had other plans. Yeah. It was deep. It was like a, it was a cube and it was 90 gallons. It was really, really deep. It was, it was probably, awesome. probably 30 inches deep. So it would have been in my back if I had put it here. So that's, uh, that's that. So do I still watch The Walking Dead? I do. I'm the only one in my house that watches it anymore. Um, yeah, you know, it's, I still like it because I'm just going to like it. Is it very expensive to go in? Not if you're a YouTuber, it's not, <laughs> but I don't think so. I think it's like 35 bucks for the day, a day pass to get into the event. I'm not sure, but uh, look it up on the website. It'll be right there. It's not over the top expensive. How do you get wood to stop floating? You wait. You wait for it to get waterlogged or you weigh it down with something. Uh, that's the first question we've answered that didn't have anything to do with the aquatic experience. How fun is that? Hello, Captain. Is, uh, is Rob in here? Did you see Rob? Oh, Captain Savage Aquatics. Okay. A lot of people call uh, Rob Lupton Captain America. So that's I thought they were talking about Rob Flip Aquatics. Oh. Where did the red couch come from? I don't know. No, somebody answered that. Red couch was donated by the WPA. Okay. Uh, and I saw Paul Martin, Paul Martin asked, was it comfortable? I don't know. I sat in it for like 30 seconds and then King Lee's daughters kicked me out. They but said, they were so good. They were, they were so sweet. See, I took pictures with them. I had the picture on the slideshow, and it it must have gotten skipped. There's a picture of you. Oh, see, a lot of these got skipped. That's yeah, her. I see. Oh, there's Rob. Yeah, there's Rob. That's uh, Racing's Natural Aquarium, If you, in case you're wondering what he looks like. He, I know he's kind of goofy looking, but it's because he's a cowboy fan. That's all. There is a picture of Lisa with King Lee's daughters. There they are. Uh, see, we, we skipped past that. Cute? They are adorable. They were a lot of fun also, the whole weekend. Jason's two sons were there, and they were really good, too. And I had a talk with him because I told him, I said, if anyone were to ever say they had, like, 50 or 60 tanks, I wouldn't be jealous because we've taken care of, like, 300 before. So I'm really not into taking care of that many. And he said, well, I have 60 tanks. And I said, oh. But then he told me that him and his sons take care of them together, and that's what they do as, like, a father-son thing. And I said, well, that's so sweet. And his, and his sons were awesome. They're just really well-behaved kids, and, and so were these little girls. They were adorable. They wanted me to take pictures with them and their stuffed animals. So I said, okay, let's take a selfie. And then somebody took our picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were the... They were the life of the party the whole weekend. We had lots of fun with them. Uh, can see the bobbleheads. Uh, yeah, th they're up top now. You'll see them uh, in another video. <laughs> Somebody commenting on the bobbleheads because they're usually in the background of all of the vehicles. Vehicles? vehicles? Really? Whatever. I wondered <laughs> how the guy who got George Farmer's 3K tank got that thing home. Who knows? Uh. I was actually, I tried with George. I met him at the very end. I didn't get a chance to meet him until the very end when the show was closed. And I went up to him and I introduced him myself. I said, I'm a big fan of what you do. He said, thank you. And he was very nice. I don't know why. That was Australian. That was terrible. Uh, very, very nice guy. And this tank right here was sitting in front of us. And uh, it's obviously empty. And so I said, hey, so Chris escaped this tank, which it was sitting right next to the little one that Luke up escaped for me. I said, so maybe I can get you to escape this one for me real quick. And he said, 
I don't scape bow front tanks. <laughs> but he was just kidding. But I was only joking with him. I wasn't expecting him to do that. Uh, but tell me, that wouldn't have been the coolest thing ever to have a George Farmer tank right next to a Chris Lukop tank. I mean, that would have been something super special. But, uh, but no, I mean, it was the end of the show. Everybody was exhausted. And I wasn't even thinking he would do it. I was just b- making a joke. And, uh, and that was a lot of fun. So somebody said $15 for the day. So let's see, there you go. I mean, that is super, super cheap. I was in New Jersey once when I was driving a truck. The city gave me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, gosh. You know, we didn't go anywhere except for the immediate area around the, the, the Expo Center. And it was very nice. I mean, all the restaurants mm-hmm. were really nice. The service was not the best. But I don't think we can complain when... You're walking in the door with 90 people. <laughs> I mean... No, the service anywhere we went was slow. It was slow, but we walked in there pretty strong. I mean, there was a lot of us it because... It was still slow. It was all the YouTubers. It was their spouses. It was fans that were not YouTubers or maybe whoever. It was just anybody who wanted to go would go. And so, yeah, it was... Uh, the service was slow, but it didn't bother me at all because I was enjoying myself talking with people and... The traffic um, was slow. And with the tra- Oh, my God. And I don't even understand why. Somebody... In Bob's stream last night, or one of the streams, uh, the VW bus guy, I wish I could remember his uh, his whole name, but he was there at the end with us, and uh, I, don't, I haven't seen him in here tonight. He was in front of me in traffic. We we pulled out of the event after we got this thing in the, in the truck and said goodbye to everybody. We pulled out, and we sat in one spot for like 35 minutes and didn't even move. And it was it was a nightmare. I don't even know what caused it, but it is what it is. Okay, Cichlid Shack said, hey, Lisa and John. I spoke to him last night. Oh, hey, Largo. Uh, See, I know who that is. You were supposed to get a hold of me this this morning, dude, and you didn't do it. So uh, somebody asked about Tiger Barbs. I think that was Famous Jones uh, asked about Tiger Barbs with Cichlids. They can go with Africans um, sometimes. I know people have been successful doing that. I like just keeping them in community tanks myself. I don't have any, but a lot of fish yesterday and gained some today and some snails. Oh. Oh, okay. What's the seminar for the week? Uh, I'm not sure what that question, if that's for us or not. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. So Awesome stories to tell. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, and we got a lot more stories that we could tell, too. Uh, but, you know, there's only so long that y'all are going to sit here and listen to us babble on me because I'm stealing the show from her. But My uh, <laughs> why isn't your name green? Join now. Oh, <laughs> look at Paul. Paul. Paul's being clever there. I get it. Uh, oh, there's there's Love My Wet Pets. So happy to have you guys back. Thank you so much. You know what? Something that, that happened. McShiggity. To what? Is it McShiggity? M- McShane. Yeah, but it's McShiggity on um, Instagram. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something that happened a lot. Look at me. I'm sweating. I'm all shiny. Something that happened a lot was I had multiple people. And I, when I say multiple, I mean probably 10 or 12 people come up to me at that event. And I'm used to people coming up to me. I'm not trying to sound arrogant, but I'm used to people coming up to me and saying, you got me into African cichlids. I've heard that a million times. Not a million, because whatever. But I've heard it a lot. But I had people coming up to me saying, we got into fish keeping because of you. And I was like, what? What? Me? I? And they said, yeah, we were watching your videos and we got interested and we started doing it. And the thing is, I was like, what made you watch my videos to begin with? If, you're, if you had no interest in fish, why did you click on a fish video with a weird bald guy? Uh, but I was blown away by that. That was, that was so awesome. And I just felt like talking about that. McShiggity, yeah, that's cute. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> just normal Jersey Turnpike traffic on a Sunday. Oh, well, once we got on the Jersey Turnpike, it was smooth sailing. We never even slowed down except to get Burger King. But... I didn't get Burger King. Whatever. I did. You damn right I did. Double bacon king sourdough. Yes, indeed. I'm doing water changes tonight. I can listen all night long. Nice. I find myself listening to people's streams on my way home from work. That's what I do. But I put it up so I can't see it. 
I turned my 125 cichlid tank into a tetra tank and loving it. Nice. No more pacho cichlid drama. <laughs> oh, pacho. I don't think he meant to say pacho. Uh, whoa, whoa. What is that? Ah. I don't know. That's weird. I've never seen it pop up like that. Uh, John, get me into African cichlids. Add me to that list of garage full of tanks. It's my fault. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to apologize to a lot of people over the weekend because they were like, I, uh, I was, I had a tank or two and then we watched your videos and I got into Africans and now I have 16 tanks. It's like, sorry, I'm sorry that we did that to you. Yes, your 10 part start an aquarium series is the best. Thank you. Yeah, famous. That was really cool of you to, to come out there. You didn't come out there to see me. I know that. But let me tell you another thing that happened on Friday. I was entertained by this. I'm sorry. I'm, you're just sitting there bored. But I saw, I had a Tazawa Tanks shirt on on Friday. And I was proud to wear it because I love that guy. And I actually got mad at Zenzo because I, I came to him just before closing on Friday. And I said, dude, I have a problem. And he said, what? I said, I've seen five or six people walking around with Tazawa tank shirts on, including me, and not one KG Tropical shirt. And it made me so mad. But I understood because, you know, it's been a while. I've been out of the game. I understood. Uh, but Saturday, there was quite a few KG Tropical shirts walking around. So, But... Tazawa is taken off, so and it's obvious. And uh, and he was he had a lot of people representing him that day. That was really cool. New member has popped through. No super chats today. I just realized that. I guess my stories aren't good enough for people's hard earned cash. It's okay. I'm just joking with you. But I just realized that unless we're somewhere where it doesn't pop up or something. I don't know. Uh, I would think it still would. But uh, welcome to Denny's Aquatics. Is a new member of the KG team. Thank you so much for joining in. Hi, John, my wife, and I enjoyed meeting you and Lisa and the others at the Aquatic Experience. It was nice having dinner Saturday with everyone. Ray's Fish Room. Yes, I I remember that one, uh, and I, I'm not going to be able to describe them to you. But, yes, it was very nice meeting you there, too. Um, it's so cool to be able to put faces to names now. Um, some of them have channels that I didn't know had channels, uh, but now I do know. And then, But there was, like, all due respect to Rob's natural aquarium even though he's a cowboy fan i don't know why i would need to give him any respect uh i didn't even realize he had videos um until after the show so there you go look at paul martin he did oh my that gosh. <laughs> so i was kidding about the uh i was kidding about the super chats paul oh. but thank you so much paul <laughs> martin so uh glad you kids have fun please apply these funds for a john gag so lisa can get her words <laughs> or two in fine but go now I'm on the spot. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Um, oh, uh, well. I hope you have a fish die in the background like look, I have. Look at Joel. <laughs> what is that currency? NZ2, New Zealand, $2. How about that? <laughs> when are you coming to New Zealand to spend the $2? Well, we're $2 closer now, my friend. Yes. I'm going to get back out of here. I'm letting you talk. I'm not, I'm not going to sit in here anymore. Uh, it's up to you now. Well, um, let me see here. Um, <sighs> talk about getting your new discus. Okay. She's um, going to get a lot sure. more respect for what I do now. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, um, well, I have the discus, and we plan on setting the tank up this weekend, and that's going to be exciting, and I will probably do more landscaping on it than he I said landscaping <laughs> I'm gonna do landscaping in a tank um, I'll probably do more of that than John as far as putting in the driftwood and the, um, the plants because it's gonna be my tank and I want to go ahead and keep the sand in it I like the sand um, I I just like that so uh, as far as like a background behind it, I haven't decided. I might just leave it as is and just use the driftwood and the plants because I really want, I want the discus to stand out and we'll paint, uh, black. Paint, yeah, black. paint it. Yeah, black. We'll see. Uh, so anyway, 
I'm excited to put them in there. I want to watch them grow. I've had the large discus before. I've been successful with the large discus. What size would you say they were? Like, God, Six they, inches. they were like, they were like that big. And oh my gosh, I had them for what two weeks, and they were, they were breeding like crazy. I just they kept pairing off and. I was like, geez, uh, they wouldn't have done that if I didn't keep the water parameter so well, but I get a little OCD with my discus tank because I just want them to be happy. And, and yeah, I feed them three times a day. I give them a little bit of breakfast, a little bit of dinner, or lunch and dinner. Blood worms, they, they like blood worms. Uh, these, these discus seem to really like flakes, though. I uh, haven't been able to really get them to eat uh, the pellets. They don't like the North Fin. Uh, not saying North Fin isn't good. <laughs> North Fin is a great product. And Great. I'm going to get a message from Jay now. No, no, no. no. They're, <laughs> North Fin is great. The beta, the beta eat them. The um, African cichlids eat those pellets. But my discus don't really care for it. Um, honestly, I really don't know what they were feeding the discus. But uh, it was such a quick transaction I didn't get to ask them a lot of questions as far as how they were taking care of them but for myself I've I, they're doing good for me they're really happy um, I haven't seen any problems as far as uh, like a sickness or anything I did actually stick one pack of general cure in there just because I wanted to you know prevent uh, anything from happening or if there was some kind of a problem I wanted to make sure that we uh, got rid of it quick but I haven't noticed any kind of illness with them and they're eating pretty good and again I've been doing water changes twice a day and I will probably only do it once a day when uh, we get them in the 75 gallon but if uh, I see food sitting around that they haven't ate, I might up it to twice a day. I don't, I don't mind doing water changes, especially when uh, it means keeping my discus healthy. What? She'll what? be using this okay. to do the water changes. Not a paid sponsorship. I paid for this, but I thought I'd show that to everybody. Bought a python. He can't stop, can he? It's like I get to talk in a little bit. He has to jump right in. Whatever. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna let you talk. I was no, just, go ahead. It's your turn. No, it's fine. It's fine. Do we want to put the chat back up there? Um, sure. Go ahead. Uh, okay. So let me see a few questions here. Uh, okay. Michael Smith, how do I stop my discus from fighting? Well, let me ask you a question. How big is your tank? How many discus do you have in there? And have you noticed any uh, breeding or uh, discus pairing off? One of, the, one of the biggest times like I ever saw my discus fighting was because I would have a pair. And the one that was trying to protect the eggs or, you know, just kind of being a little bit more territorial and... Uh, and everything he he would or her she would go and want to be a little bit more aggressive with the other discus that is a possibility maybe you don't have enough discus in there and so they're just picking at each other more because you don't have enough uh, if it's a bigger discus and the other one is smaller it could be a possibility but um, you know I would definitely look at as far as how many you have in there? Do you have a big enough tank? Do you have any pairing off? Um, we never had a problem with discus fighting, though. I did have more aggression when they were pairing off and they were trying to do their thing. They didn't want other discus coming around them. So that's what, that's really the only time I ever had a problem with discus having aggression. They, they were really peaceful fish from what I could tell. I mean, just when they were breeding. That's the only time I ever saw some aggression. So I hope that answered your question. It may not be the main reason for your uh, discus aggression, but check it out and just see if maybe you have have some discus pairing off. Um, King Lee, I think I just saw in here. Oh. When I was nice. lurking, yep, there it is, Twin City Guppies. Oh. King Lee is in here, I don't know. 
that I have ever seen him in one of our streams. So welcome, King. I, that is one guy. Somebody said, I'm taking over again. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. <laughs> Somebody said, who did we enjoy hanging out with the most? Uh, I'm not going to answer that. But what I will answer is who I wish I had gotten to hang out with more. And King Lee is one of those. Um, that's a guy that I, I saw like the, for the first time in that video of Rob's talking about his story, which I haven't shown you and I'll tell you about in a minute. It's a, he's got a story, that guy. And, uh, we hung out with his kids the whole weekend, but we didn't get a chance to hang out with him all that much. And it's not because he avoided us or anything. It's because he was running around selling guppies. And, uh, and all I'm going to say is, uh, King, there's, uh, there's a tank right now full of discus that might need to be full of guppies when those discus get moved. So I love we, guppies. we might have to talk soon, my friend. So uh, what types of plants will you be planting? I had, I had taken pictures of all of the different plants that we got from Dennerlay. Um, and I've heard that name pronounced like five different ways. But I'm going to say Dennerlay because I think that's the best way to say it. Um, and I, I don't know any of them. Like I don't know what any of them are. Uh, I actually took the labels and I'm going to research them and stuff like that before we put them in. But I think a lot of them are mostly like ground covers and intermediate plants uh, or foreground, I guess you would call them. I don't think we got any tall stuff. I think most of it is uh, is smaller, but but that's okay. You know, we'll just put it everywhere and, and we'll be good. So somebody asked you, are cichlids easier to take, I'm assuming, take care of than discus? African cichlids and, I mean, I would assume you mean African cichlids and discus. Um, no. I mean, you just need to know the water parameters for both fish. Uh, know that they are from different bodies of water. You have African cichlids from Lake Malawi. You have your discus from the more South American region. So you have... Uh, different water parameters you want to keep your pH a little bit higher for the Africans and lower for the discus and I I keep them low I, I, I keep my pH low even if I hear oh well these were bred in higher pH I just try to do what's natural the, the right way I feel is the right way it works for me um, but I will be less uh, anal about it if I hear that they were bred uh, in the more neutral area of pH and not uh, freak out quite as much if I don't get it down a little lower. Um, food because is, most of them were raised in tap well, water. Yeah, I know, but I try to do them right, even if, you know, whatever. But. Uh, as far as uh, raising them, and uh, they're not, neither are hard if you know what you're doing. You just got to get your information, and you can take care of any fish if you research and, and do what, there's, what they need, you know, just do what's right for them. There's, one's not easier than the other, I wouldn't say. So. Here's what I'll add to that. Oh, God, John's taking over again. <laughs> I love African cichlids. Of course I do. Love them. Love all of them. Discus are cuter than African cichlids. They're, they're cute. And when you see them and their teeny tiny little mouth kissing at you, there is something different about the way you feel about discus than you do African cichlids. Because African cichlids are like little beasts. You know, they want to fight and they want to do other things that start with the letter F. And that's all they care about. And they're just bruisers and they're awesome looking where discus are cute. So discus almost force you to take better care of them because they're just so daggone cute. And somebody, uh, JK, Jeff K said discus are cichlids. I think everybody knows that. I think the guy oh, was referring yeah, yeah, to I Africans. Yeah. I don't think he was trying to troll us or anything like that. I think that he meant African cichlids because now everybody refers to Africans as just cichlids. Oh, Paul. Lisa, what did you name your beta? I named him Mojo Jojo uh, from uh, from the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Mojo Jojo. So, so that one's F-I-S-H and the other one is Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Um, okay. My local fish store is getting some six-inch wolf fish. I'm trying not to get one for my 150-gallon. That's tough. 
Uh, and Buna Marcus is back. I don't know if he ever disappeared, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Is your favorite cichlid the Aratus? No, you silly goose. It's not. But I like him. I like Aratus. Why not? Uh, I have 125. How? I. Okay. Push restart. Have a 125 how long African cichlids, peacocks, and haps, how long do you recommend leaving the light on? Okay, <laughs> that, that was a tough one to get through, but I'm going to cut you some slack. Um, I mean, I, I don't go... I mean, with this right now, I'm leaving it on pretty much the, when I get up and I turn it off when I go to bed, but that's not what I would typically like to do. I'd like them to be on eight hours or so, um, but... You know, she's not going to come in here and turn it on for me. So, do you guys have a favorite cichlid? I mean, I think I know what yours is. But you can answer it. Desicus? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cichlid, that's so broad. You, you have to narrow it down. South Central American, African. Tanganyikan, oh, there, there's that's just too hard. That's too hard to answer that question. Uh, what the food for baby Malawi cichlids? Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody sells a one millimeter. I mean, if they're newborns, then I liked frozen brine shrimp or or crumbled up flakes. Or you can buy. This is a trick. I don't think I. I don't know if I ever talked to you about. Some people buy large pellets and they grind them up with a, yeah. with a, what are they called? Pepper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that thing called? It, it's one of those pepper things in you. Yep. Yeah. I, I said it last week, but I don't remember what it's called now. Pepper grinder, but it's like a, there's a special name for it. Jacob's Aquarium is starting his planted tank again. That's another guy I haven't seen in a very long time. Uh... What's up? Happy to see you back on YouTube. You're not happy to see me because I've been back. You're happy to see her, aren't you? Of course you are. Pepper Mill, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jeebs84. And KG Cichlids adds in Grinder. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. can call it that too. But Dovi, that's a good choice for, for your favorites. I mean, what's the best food? I mean, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's the best because I think they're all good. I mean... There are people that have their favorites and people that have the ones that they dislike. I've, I've never had a food that I've been like, oh my God, all of my fish died and it's because of the food I fed them. I've, I've never. I can tell you a food. If you have African cichlids or even South Americans, you know, like your, you know, like your bigger ones, your Oscars and all that. Um, one food that I really really thought was great and somebody could come into the fish store and say my fish won't eat this or that and I would give them a packet of extreme and it would be like a little sample pack that we would carry and we had different sizes and I would say try this and every single person that I gave that packet to would come back and say I want to buy a can of that my fish ate it and they loved it and I, I could sell extreme. I mean, I could sell some extreme. And it wasn't because I was trying to, you know, uh, be a distributor of it and make a bunch of money off of it. I just wanted to help people feed their fish. And they, it worked. They, they loved it. They always came back. And extreme's a great, a great food. Extreme is great. We, we also had a lot of success with Southern Delight. We liked a lot. Uh, it wasn't um, as it it didn't it didn't we work as it. well as extreme. One of my favorite foods has been and always will be, and I don't care what anybody says about it, the Hikari cichlid excel. I love that food for my fish. We always had great success with that, uh, and I don't care if anybody has a problem with it. We had a, we had great success with a Hikari food. I know when you become the biggest brand, everybody loses their minds and wants to poo-poo everything about it, just like everybody hates the Patriots and all of that. I mean, it just it doesn't work that way with me. If it's a good food, I like it. Uh, Flynn's Fish Room asked us, Fish Forum. I always want to call him Flynn's Fish Room. Uh, I'm having some trouble with having newly shipped fish eat. 
Is there like a go-to food that they will eat? They are Rio Adapa sorttails. We always had good luck with like frozen foods. If they're if they're giving you trouble, frozen foods are something that uh, a lot of times they would they think it's live food and they would love that. Um, but we, I mean, we never had a huge problem with that. Cause yeah, I mean, maybe give them a couple of days because they just need to relax and then try a few different things. I mean, not every fish wants the exact same food, unfortunately. I can't get my African cichlids to eat floating food. Have any advice? When they are hungry enough, they will go up and get it. That's always been my piece of advice for that kind of a thing. Um, but the other piece of advice, I know I'm going to sound like a real jerk here, but buy sinking food. Uh, because, I mean, I've had that happen before, too, uh, where they won't go up to the top to eat it. And it could be because they're afraid or whatever. Uh, get them some cichlid food. And, uh, you know, that, that solved that problem right away. How about North Fin? We love North Fin. That's what I'm feeding everybody right now. So we're a big fan of them. Is a 90-gallon tank <coughs> decent for a discus tank? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, I mean, now, you might not want to go on to one of the Discus forums. Or, do they even exist? Like Discus uh, Facebook well, groups and stuff like that because people will rip you apart, but they'll rip you apart about anything. I don't know that they would rip you apart for a 90-gallon. Well, but, you don't want, like, giant Discus, 20 of them. You know, I mean, use some common sense. But a 90-gallon isn't bad to have Discus in it all, so... John, are you going to get back into trying to keep shrimp since you have all those plants now? Yes. We did a lot of talking about that over the weekend. Yes, I definitely will. Uh, in fact, I know there will be shrimp in two tanks in here. Um, if you watched my live stream, you didn't, you didn't watch it, of course, because you were there walking around, but... Uh, Chris showed me shrimp that were worth like $5,000 a piece. He showed me shrimp that were worth $2,000 a piece. I'm not going to be getting those, <laughs> but, but yes, uh, already talked to Rob. We're going to, we're going to work something out. I'll probably talk to Lucas too. Maybe I'll do one tank full of shrimp from Rob and one from Lucas. Who knows? We'll, we'll have to see. And then another tank full of guppies from King Lee. And I've already ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Aquarium Co-op. I'm just going to be supporting all of the YouTubers and then hopefully some uh, African cichlids from my friend James Largo who just messaged me on Facebook but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, who, hates, who hates the New England Patriots? I don't. See, towards the end we talk about all kinds of stuff. Hmm. I don't hate the Patriots. Uh, what I was saying was a lot of people do because they're the best. A lot of people, like I hate Jimmy Johnson. I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he's probably a really good guy, but I can't stand him because he took the fun out of NASCAR for me because he won everything. So uh, I don't hate him, but I, I hate the fact that he won seven years in a row or whatever. Uh, go Red Sox. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care who wins because I don't watch it until spring, uh, spring baseball comes back on. That's when I'll start watching again. Do you think brine shrimp and blood worms good food? Absolutely. No doubt. So let's start to wind things down here, which is when the numbers start going boo, way down. And I don't blame them because uh, it's already an hour and a half. Thank you, guys. They pairing. Th so is that what's going on in your tank with the aggression? <laughs> oh, that's probably it. That's probably it. Jimmy Johnson equals my guy. Watch it, John. I wasn't talking about him personally. What I was saying was he took the fun out of NASCAR for me because he just, who's going to win? Oh, Jimmy Johnson. Shocker, you know. It's because he was so good, Paul, and still is. But uh, but anyway, I'm a Denny Hamlin guy and a Kyle Busch guy and whoever else is driving for Joe Gibbs now because I haven't watched NASCAR in a couple of years and I don't even know. I met Martin Truex. He's a pretty cool guy too. I also met Denny. I met, anyway, who cares? <laughs> uh, let's see. Got 24 ghost shrimp for $3 today. Nice. Are you feeding them to something? That's mean, isn't it? Or are you going to keep them as pets? That would be really cool. Do you guys still have the tank with the blue background that had the sump at the bottom? I'm sorry, I don't remember the gallon size or the company. I think it was a 220. No, it was a 240. Yes, we do have it. We do have it in the garage. Empty. Mm -hmm. There has been some thought 
to perhaps, maybe, possibly, just setting it up out there. We've done it before. There's no reason why I couldn't do it again. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but there is the, pro the, the possibility. In the garage. In the garage, yep. Three 300 watt heaters, no problem. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, John, got to go. Nice seeing you. Uh, you Okay, Lisa. Bye, guys. Goodbye, Dylan's Little Hobbies on YouTube. That's a cool fish. A cool fish. That's a cool name. Truex is a friend of my family. He goes fishing and hunting with my cousin a lot. So ask him if he remembers John that met him for three seconds in Richmond in uh, 2006. I bet he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, John is hooked all over again. Yeah, uh, every time I see his name, what do you think I think of? Uh, oh, Tony, Tony Romo. Romo. And I've said it to him a million times in my streams because he pops up and I'm like, oh, my God, it's Tony Romo. Um, yeah, I'm hooked. I mean, what did I say a month ago? A month ago, I started doing live streams and I said, I'm going to have one tank and it's going to be it and that's going to be fun. And one, two, three, four, five, and now six. But you know what? The four nanos are just that. They're four nanos. Uh, they're going to be certainly easy to take care of. Um, she's going to take care of this one. She won't even let me take care of it, even though I told her I would. Um, so really, the only real challenge I'm going to have is the uh, is the African cichlid tank. So, uh, but it's going to be easy because I got the um, the what's it called? What is that thing called again? The Python. Good God! All right, on that topic, I'm going to ask all of you a question, and I want you to answer, uh, and then we're going to get off of here because it's already 9:37. So I went when I first got back into this. I went and bought the Imaginarium brand of water changing system, which is the, it's the Aquion system. I've used them in the past uh, and they worked fine for me. Not as good as Pythons, but they worked fine. I bought it at the Petco a mile from our house and it broke the very first time I used it. Broke. It didn't just not work well, it broke. <laughs> so I ended up buying this Python I bought it. They didn't give it to me. I don't know that they've ever given anybody a Python because, you know, who cares? But I'm thinking about doing a video where it's basically saying, hey, don't buy this piece of crap. Buy this Python. I mean, it's not a paid sponsorship or anything even close, but I'm thinking about doing that because that would be my God's honest opinion because it broke the first time I used it. So I am not a Aquion hater. I've used a lot of their products and they've worked fine. That one... It was not fine, and I i got to be honest, I cut a little bit off of the hose, and I threw away the packaging, and so I can't take it back. $80 I paid for that thing, and uh, that's $80 I will never get back. But I've got plenty of hose now for all kinds of stuff. But uh, Python, yeah, like, uh, like Michael McShane said, it, it's the best. There is no debate that the Python is the better system. There's no debate at all. Um, I think I'm going to do that video. I, I think I am. And another thing that you will see in the video, I use a garden hose and an attachment that hooks to the sink homemade Python. Yeah, well, see, that's what I did with the Aquion because, of course, it didn't come with the appropriate adapters for my sink, which is right on the other side of this wall. The, this, this wall right here. There's a bathroom right on the other side of that wall. So it won't hook up to our sink in the kitchen because we have one of those pull-out sprayers that's you know we can't hook it up there so i wanted to hook it up to the bathroom sink here it didn't have the right adapter but of course the python pull it straight out of the package and it just so beautifully screws right on to there and the lady told me this the lady at python she was i think one of the owners had no clue that i had a youtube channel and wouldn't have cared if she did know no she told me if it if you don't have the right adapter call me and i will fix you up with one don't even worry about it mm -hmm. So that's how good that company is. I believe in them 100% and their, their product is phenomenal. So I'm going to do a video on that coming and, uh, and that's going to be coming in the future. So we've got the Chris Lukup project video. We've got your video with the guy with the thing in the, in the show mm -hmm. with the talking about the things with the guy. And then uh, we've got the two more videos on that, the FX6 and the light. 
And then we're going to be escaping this. There's going to be a lot of content coming out with us, folks, including this one being in videos. Now, we're on a live stream here. I'm used to be the only one talking, so it's hard for me to turn it over to her, and I apologize about that. I'm getting tired. Maybe I'll just have her do a stream all by herself one of these days. There was a threat that I wasn't even going to be here for this stream, and she was going to do it all herself. Yeah. And that would have been a lot of fun. Yeah. I would have been driving. I got to go to North Carolina first thing in the morning tomorrow morning for a meeting for work. I was expecting to drive down there tonight, and I was going to be watching the stream while I was driving. Excuse me. I was going to be listening Ooh. to the stream <laughs> while I was driving down there. But, uh, but you know, I came home instead because I didn't want to let all of you down. And plus, she said she didn't want to do it by herself. So. Uh, I've had a lot of fun really with this. <laughs> There's going to be a ton of videos coming out, folks. We got tons and tons and tons of stuff. So I will let her take it away, and I will let her close um, things down. But I mean, you've already said everything. I just, you know, good to be back. It so, is. It's folks. Good, oh, good to be back. Don't um, forget, once again, I'm sorry. Don't forget <laughs> about Corey's giveaway. Don't forget about the Do Your Job t-shirts. Don't forget... If you want to become a member of the KG team, click that join button down below. If you're not already subscribed, why aren't you? Click the subscribe button. And before you all leave, there's 170 something people in here still. Click the like button for me, please, because that definitely does help us with Google, with YouTube. They help to uh, to boost engagement and all that. So that'll be a huge help for us. So uh, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it up to her now. I promise. I'm going to leave it up to her to say goodbye to all of you beautiful people. Goodbye. Have a good night. See you next time. <laughs> yep, she's going to respect me a whole lot more now.